and welcome. I'm Dave Kozak. The year of the dragon is almost upon us. Today, we begin a year-long journey that will take us deep into the hearth of darkness. Join us for an adventure in three parts, a Hearthstone trilogy that will take us from flying cities to ancient depths, a journey where we will meet new friends and familiar enemies. Our year begins when the shadows rise. So you're probably wondering why I gathered you here. Let me take a moment and break it down. We've been given black eyes by the good guys. Oh, but that's about to change. Those meddles immortals who've mocked up our missions will finally feel some of our pain. You see, I have a devious plan that requires a demonstrative fist. And each of you will have your dreams come true as a fiend I finger of peace. What? All right. <sighs> Let me try this again. Alone, all our dreams went. Uh, yes, but united, we'll take all the candles. No fish digging. I'm seeing what you want to do. Let me hear it. We'll come together so we can dismantle. Now here's the plot to capture your greed and intrigue. We'll take Dalaran for all that it's got. <laughs> Indeed, the Archthief Rafam has gathered together Hearthstone's most nefarious villains. Their target, the magical floating city of Dalaran. Their final objective, a mystery to be unraveled in the coming months. With this first chapter, together we can explore deep philosophical questions. What is the nature of evil? How much mana does it cost? Is it any good against Hunter? These are the enigmas of the human condition we will explore. And who better to explore these mysteries than the villainous mastermind himself, Rafam? The one-time Archthief is not the only villain who will be returning to Hearthstone to wreak havoc. His position as founder and head of the League of Evil has legendary benefits. In addition to returning villains, other cards harken back to the mechanics of bygone days. Madame Lazul, the fortune teller, is bringing back some forbidden magics, faint whispers of the old gods. Make no mistake, this will be one of our darkest expansions. Each of our villains has an angle. Each of them seeks to bring about their own criminal schemes to fruition. Patience is a villainous virtue. Schemes, such as this one, grow more powerful the longer you hold them in your hand. What do you call a card capable of doing colossal damage to every minion on the board? Evil! It's an evil card! Sinister plots require an army of lackeys to carry them out. Uh, take a look at this miscreant, seen frequenting the company of rogues. He is capable of adding two such lackeys to your hand. You might be asking, what are lackeys? How many are there? How do they do against aggro? All lackeys are small 1-1 one -one minions with a distinctly evil battle cry. Uh, use them and dispose of them at will. That's what lackeys are for. Throughout the year, more lackeys will be added with each set, representing the growing reach of the League of Evil. Of course, the magical defenders of Dalaran won't sit idly by while evil stalks their street. Our villains will run into a formidable defense befitting the capital of magic, including a new mechanic. This druid spell will summon treants, but it's what's known as a twin spell meaning it can be cast twice. Once cast, a second copy of the spell is added to your hand to be cast immediately or saved for a future turn. 
The very streets of Dalaran will descend into chaos. Everyone will be drafted into the fight, including the city's merchants, such as this jeweler who can buy your hero an extra turn. Pity the fool who believes they have lethal when she comes into play. When faced with such terrible evil, even the best among us must resort to extreme measures. Chef Nomi is an Epicurean of pyrotechnical proclivities. End your game with a bang, for revenge is a dish best served hot. This card is on fire. You could say he has a burning, you know what, let me just, let me just skip ahead. This book has a lot of fire puns. Hearthstone. Dragon! The most powerful mages of the world are stepping up to defend Dalaran, including the blue dragon and one-time aspect of magic itself, Caligos. The very embodiment of arcane energy, Caligos allows you to cast a spell for free every turn. And if you don't have one handy, his battle cry will give you one. No doubt, the defenders of Dalaran are going to put up quite the fight. But will it be enough to save their city from the League of Evil? This is but the first chapter of a trilogy, a tale of magic and miscreants, an epic struggle at the very epicenter of magic in Azeroth. Who will triumph? We shall see where the cards fall when the shadows rise.